Hey guys, it's Geezer, back with another build. We're doing a micro two triangle suicide bunker store. So we're gonna have a vending machine bunker that uh, is open to the public so they can buy your wares and inside you've got a sleeping bag. So it's just two triangles, we're gonna make them all high qual. Um, nothing special about this initial setup except you have to make sure you put a bag inside. Here on the outside we can put um, a square foundation and a little Put a little electrical thing if you just want to measure, put a guide there. I don't use anything when I'm doing it, I'm just kind of giving you guys an option. The dots can help you measure. I just put a, a twig square foundation when I place my vending machine down and then I destroy the twig. Um, you can use stone or metal square foundations to give you um, a really easy way to measure. So kind of six or seven dots would be the maximum out that you'd want this vending machine or else it's going to be destroyed when you destroy the foundation or when eco raiders destroy the foundation but in this build we don't want an extra foundation just sticking out here um, unless you want it for some reason maybe to to fool eco raiders i don't know but as you can see it's pretty easy to loot with this configuration um, i do turn the frame around there to make it easier to loot because the high qual frame can make it difficult even with an armored door in there it's still possible this build has one big advantage though because sometimes with the high qual and the armored doors and stuff it's hard to loot these things through the crack but it's a suicide bunker so we can just move boxes around if we find that we can't loot something one time and you don't even need to have the tc facing the crack you can have it against the back wall and some small boxes lockers or large boxes um, up and facing the crack uh, as the pass through items so here we're just going to rearrange stuff again and we can just place this again try another configuration you can keep trying things um, the bags and the boxes you can move around and there now we can loot through the small box i've tested many different configurations of this the square doesn't work very well um, reverse this vending machine with the storage facing out if you need to and then just turn it back around again and that might help you loot sometimes so just make sure it's empty when you're going to loot through from the outside. When you go inside, uh, take everything out and then you'll be able to ro rotate it and stuff and, and that might help you. Uh, just one more tip there. That's all I've got for you today. Um, leave comments. I've got lots of notes on this view if you have any questions. And thanks for watching.